English language, most sentences happen where the subject comes first and then the verb or the predicate. However, that's not true of all sentences. Some sentences will have inverted constructions. That is to say, instead of the subject coming before the verb, the verb comes before the subject, or sometimes part of the verb comes before the subject. And one of the cool things about diagramming is it's a tool that you can use to figure out when you have those inverted constructions uh, where things aren't quite the uh, usual order. So for example, if we have a question, a question typically takes uh, an inverted construction, such as, did you give the children their vitamins? So in this case, when we have a question, we have part of the verb in front of the subject. In this particular sentence, uh, we see you as the subject and did give as the verb. One way to think about a question is if you straighten it out uh, to answer the question, you end up with you did give the children their vitamins. So what we're going to do is start as usual looking at the core of the sentence. And the core of the sentence was you and did give. And so we build the rest of the sentence from there just as we have before. Um, we have a direct object and an indirect object. We have vitamins. as the direct object, and we have children as the indirect object. And if you remember the indirect object, we treat it as a prepositional phrase. So we have, did you give, and then we have this implied to. We have children with the. their vitamins. So that's how you do a question. You basically take it apart because part of the verb in a question is in front of your um, subject. Another kind of inverted construction is something called an expletive, where you've got an adverb at the beginning that's sort of taking the place um, or sort of uh, setting up the sentence, where the subject is way off at the back end of the sentence a lot of times. So we may have, uh, there was a general start. So what we want to do, again, with our expletive construction, we want to say, OK, our verb is actually was. It's a state of being verb. There is not our subject. There is an adverb. Uh, so again, when in doubt, it's probably an adverb because adverbs are so sneaky. Instead, our actual subject is start. So if we look at our sentence framework, we remember our subject is actually start. And our verb is was. And what we do with there, it's one of these adverbs, and I treat it as a sentence adverb. Some people actually have a special place. They float it up in outer space up here before the beginning of the sentence. I prefer just to think of it as a sentence adverb, which means it's modifying the verb. And then we have the two modifiers defining modifying start, which are a and general. 
So when you have the inverted constructions, diagramming is a really good tool to figure those out because you can figure out where these things go in the framework even if they're not in the normal order that you find them in a sentence.